right, in this video, I'm gonna share a couple of tips that can help prevent injury while using some of these older mills. I'm Captain Scott Forrester, and that there was Holy Grail. You can find both of us here on YouTube at Captain True Game or on Instagram at True Game Pitbulls. All right, this is one of the most important things when it comes to using one of these slate mills. It's always picking up your dog to put him on the mill and picking him up to take him off the mill. And I'm gonna give you an example right here, the proper way. Put him on the mill. Pick him up to take him off. Now, before I continue, I did want to add that you could place your dog by picking him up through the front or the back. I choose to go through the front because I feel when I come through the back, I can't really see what I'm doing as much as coming through the front. And I feel with the momentum coming front work that sometimes the back leg can pinch because that momentum will make that track when you're placing down that dog will make this track come a little forward allowing the back foot to get pinched right up in here in one of these uh pieces between one of these pieces of wood or plastic or whatever it is that your slate mill is made out of all right so on to the business now if you guys look closely right here you can see that there's a opening right here and when this mill goes back it closes up right there now you might wonder well it's not uh well, well why does it not uh pinch back here true you know why why does it not catch over here once it passes this right here it gets flat and there's no problem but this very beginning has this that could really injure your dog and i'm going to give you an example right here with these uh chopsticks of how much it can hurt if your dog gets his nail or his foot, his back foot or front foot or whatever it is, caught up in there. All right, here we go. Say that's coming fast. Well, I thought it would break, but it didn't break. But trust me, this will hurt. And trust me, this will give your dog an injury. Why? Because I know, okay? An injury can be very bad, and I'm gonna tell you why. Say you're training for an upcoming event, say you're training for a show, whatever it is you're training for. You get one of these nail foot injuries right here, this pinches right here, and you get one of these injuries, you're gonna be out for three weeks, maybe four weeks, tops. That can ruin your show, that can ruin your event, that can ruin a lot of things. So always make sure to pick up your dog and pit your dog down and try to avoid this. Now. Every mill's not like that. Every mill's not like this. And I know there's some, of that, some of you out there that'll be like, well, true, I got a newer mill. I don't have that problem. Well, we're going to discuss in this last piece that I'm going to do here, we're going to discuss why that even you guys have to be careful with not allowing your dog to jump up on this mill or the newer mills or jump off of them. All right. I wanted to touch a couple more topics before I finished up here. But before I get to that other topic, I wanted to finish up with... Um, the mill, the mill part and the part of getting caught up in the front. Say if you don't have one of these older mills, say that you have a mill that you don't have that issue or you're getting a new mill that is not gonna have that issue. I wanted to share with you why it's still so important to pick, to pick these dogs up and put them on the mill and to pick these dogs up when you're taking them down, even if you don't have that issue with the jamming up here, getting your foot caught. The reason is, if you're doing these mills every day or every other day or whatever, that jumping up and that jumping down, even if you don't have this issue with the foot getting caught, it hurts your dog's joints. It pits a lot of wear and tear on your dog over time. And any experienced dog man or any old time dog man, and I've sat down with a couple of them, I've been blessed to sit down with a couple of them, will tell you the same thing. Even if you're not getting no foot injuries, your foot's not getting caught, that up and down, up and down, up and down for years or up and down and up and down for months of training that can really affect your dog and it will affect your dog and it will injure your, it will injure your dog. So the best thing to do is pick your dog up, pick your dog down when you're going to take them up and when you're going to put them down. And that's the best thing you can do and that's something I highly suggest. Last but definitely not least, I wanted to share the safety features on this slate mill 
because these safety features can definitely help avoid an injury to your dog, okay? These two eyes in the front connect to your dog's collar, okay? One on each side. That helps him stay right around this area. And then this connects to his harness on the back, okay? And that, what this pretty much does is prevent the animal from falling off the, uh, the slate mill and injuring his neck or even worse, possibly choking himself to death, okay? So these safety features are very important to avoiding an injury uh, on the slate mill, okay? If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. You can contact me here or through Instagram at True Game Pitbulls. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Have a great day.